Welcome crafty friends, Kat here and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a floating ornament. I use the plastic ornaments you can buy in bulk at Michael's, I think it's a tub of 25 and these lids come out really really easily. I've cut it down so the wire is not so long and visible on the inside. I have sheets of acetate I cut into the bauble shape, a ribbon and a string tie, a piece of transfer tape, my vinyl cut bears, I've already cut those out on my Cricut and my tree again I cut out of permanent vinyl on my Cricut. The snow I got from Dollar Tree I believe, uh, faux snow and they have that every year, they even have a pretty blue one I might do something with. This is my favourite, favourite funnel from Tupperware. It's absolutely perfect for this because it fits perfectly in the ornament and an egg box and of course my trusty glue gun. The acetate sheets come with a protective film on one side, so make sure that's on the desk, that's on the back to you, and then clean the front. That's where we're going to stick the vinyl. And you can clean it with alcohol or just a very clean cloth, making sure to get rid of any fingerprints or any grease or oil that might be on there. And then we're going to put the transfer tape on top of the trees to pick them up, so we can move that onto the acetate sheet. Now the acetate that goes in the middle of this ornament is very easy to design. I do have it in my Cricut Access and in a shared file, so you can check it out there. But it's pretty much just a circle with a rectangle welded onto it in DS. And I did that, and you can change that out depending on the size of the ornament that you're using. But that's the basics for that, and it goes in the middle of the ornament. I'm going to show you how we get it in there in a little bit. And we just stick the trees on. You can line it up. I'm just eyeballing it here. And line it up. Stick the trees onto your acetate sheet. Press it down, making sure there's no bubbles in that vinyl. Once that's down, peel the transfer tape back gently. I actually use contact paper a lot of the time. It's cheaper. You can buy it by the roll from the Hellbird store. And it's not as sticky, so you can use it on cardstock if you're going to put vinyl on cardstock, which is actually a really cool way to cheat lettering instead of gluing on the individual letters. So here I cut the bears out of a foil vinyl, just like I did with my Deer in Snow last year, because it really does add an extra shimmer. But you can cut these out of any color you like. Stick around to the end of the video and you will see a variety of colors of this ornament. Placement of the bears is really up to you. You want to make sure that they don't go below the tree line really too much because we're going to add snow inside the ornament and if they're too low down you will lose the bears in the snow. Once that's done, peel the plastic film off the back and just double check there's no fingerprints or anything on your acetate as we're going to roll it now to get it inside that ornament. This is the secret. You can roll this around a pen or a piece of dowel or you can just turn it around on itself like I did. Roll in. You want to be careful not to put any creases in it as you do that. But roll it and then put it inside the ornament. And as you can see I'm using my Cricut weeding tool the other end of it to straighten it out in the middle there. The egg box is used just to balance the ornament while you fill it with snow. And what you want to do is put the funnel one side of the acetate. So I'm going to fill the back first behind the trees and then in a minute fill the front. And that way you can keep a balance and know exactly how much snow you're putting in the front and back of the image. I've sped this bit up a bit so you can see where the snow's going but a little bit quicker. Don't put too much in the funnel at one time because it will just get stuck and you'll end up having to poke it through with a stick a little bit at a time and it will go straight into the ornament and you can see where it's going. You can obviously pour some out if there's too much in there, but a little bit at a time makes the most sense. Now I'm going to tie a bow. I like to tie my own bows because then I can use any ribbons that I have on hand. You can buy pre-made bows if you don't like tying them. And this one has actually only got the pattern on one side, which is fine and I can tie the bow like this but the middle is actually backwards. So if you want the pattern on the outside, and in this case the sparkly snowflake, you need to just reverse it before you twist those bows over. I've sped it up a bit, but as you can see, it's exactly the same way 
as I just tied the previous bow, except you have to just fiddle around with the ends there. Make sure they're all facing the same way. Snip the ends of the ribbon so they're nice and tidy. And my little cheat is to use a lighter and that's going to just melt the edges a little bit and it stops those ends from fraying on your ribbons. There you have your finished bow, all ready for the ornament. Now it's time for the hot glue. So as you can see I've got my finger protector there. I still manage to burn myself every now and again with the hot glue gun, so do be careful. Heat it up beforehand, otherwise it won't work very well. And I just put some hot glue inside the top of the ornament there to seal it closed. It does stop the snow from coming out and if you're packing these away every year and getting them out you don't want the insides to fall out. Once that is dry I'm going to take the pin from the top of the ornament and you just squeeze it together and pop it back in the slot at the top. I have snipped it down to make it a little shorter because otherwise you can see the, the bottom sticking out inside the ornament but again that's personal preference. Tiny bit of hot glue on here to hold the ribbon on. Now last year I did try some of these with Gorilla Glue, but they had kind of a weird effect and sometimes they can make the plastic go kind of cloudy. So the hot glue works perfectly fine, it holds everything still, my ornaments are all still together from last year and the year before, so hot glue is the way to go with these. Hold it for a minute just until it's dry, it dries a lot lot quicker than Gorilla Glue as well. Now you need something to hang the ornament with, so I've used just a a thin piece of sheer ribbon here but anything you have in your craft stash will probably do loop it through and tie a little knot to create a loop check out my video from last year the deer in snow ornament very similar but just as elegant here we go the finished product and i've actually made it in quite a few colors as well so stick around and check those out thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video